Now, after three months, Expo 2017 in Astana has closed its doors. More than two million people uh, went to pavilions representing more than 100 countries. And the theme of this year's international exhibition was future energy. It focused on the sector's future and innovative solutions. Money Talks got the chance to meet Kazakhstan's energy minister on the last day of the fair. He told us about the country's ambitious alternative energy goals. Kazakhstan, indeed, has a huge resources of hydrocarbon-based energy. But in spite of this, we want to develop our own strategy, transitioning into a green economy. As part of this strategy, in a couple of years, 3% of our energy income should be from renewables. This will go up to 10% by 2030 and a half from alternative sources by the year 2050. This will also give us the opportunity to fulfill the Paris Climate Agreement goals. And for more on the Energy Expo in Kazakhstan, Alijan Ayanla is in Astana and joins me now. Alijan, uh, we heard from the Energy Minister there about uh, their goals for uh, energy reductions, uh, fossil fuel reductions. Uh, is it going to be a tough target for them to meet, though? It certainly looks so. It's an ambitious target, Osar, let me tell you that. And uh, for two main reasons, um, especially with regards to that latter one, uh, the 50 percent by the year 2050. And here's why. Two main reasons. First and foremost, nearly 60 percent of the country's income comes from oil and gas. And when you have uh, the price of oil above $50 a barrel, uh, which is about 80 percent higher than it was about a year and a half, 18 months ago, it's sort of difficult to see Kazakhstan uh, pushing away the hand that feeds it the most. Uh, secondly, that 50 percent target by the year 2050 is higher than the average of OECD country targets, uh, a group of countries that include uh, renewable energy powerhouses like Germany as well as Sweden. But like I say, it's always nice to have targets. Uh, Ali Jan, you had a chance to visit Expo. Uh, what stood out for you in terms of the technology that was on display over there? Well, Asar, let me tell you this. The World's Fair or the World's Expo has always been this platform where cutting-edge and state-of-the-art uh, technologies and science have always been displayed, and uh, Expo 2017 certainly did not disappoint. But what was interesting was some of the nicer stuff we saw in the pavilions belonging to corporations rather than country pavilions. Uh, some of the stuff that stuck out the most was the uh, cooperation between France and uh, Switzerland with Solar Impulse. That's the solar-powered plane that circumnavigated the Earth by only using energy coming from solar cells. That was great, and the related technologies Another great thing was a French company called Glowy, and their aim to sort of uh, bring or source biological light from uh, marine microorganisms. So getting okay. inspiration from uh, 20,000 leagues okay. under the sea. Also, there's an American company who has a device that wants to okay. generate electricity uh, from uh, plants photosynthesis. Right. Well, great stuff out there, Azhar. Lots of interesting stuff in Astana. Alijan Ayanlar, thank you ever so much.